Romans 8, 1. There is therefore now no condemnation for, the, for those who are in Christ Jesus. Romans eighteen ten. 18, 10. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous man runs into it and is safe. He who dwells in the shelter of the Most High will abide in the shadow of the Almighty. I will say to the Lord, my refuge and my fortress, my God in whom I trust. I've been around Woodbury Lutheran um, since 2001. Um, we were looking for a church. Our three boys were pretty young and, and we wanted a, a church to go to. Uh, we went to Woodbury, a, a service for the first time and um, just, it really stood out. The spirit was alive um, and I'm, I know you've heard that a lot. Um, but the word was taught um, unashamedly and, and, and with power and I just, it just felt like home. In Woodbury Lutheran, the boys were in all the kids' programs. So Eric was third grade, I think, when we started, and Justin and Brian were in first. And then they went all the way through Trinity and all the foundations, and so we loved that. We went to Oak Hill for a while um, because the Sunday school was smaller, and we thought that was, that was working pretty well for Brian. Sorry, sorry to say, but the, the, the Oak Hill thing, they had really good snacks between services so our boys were like okay this is really good um, but but in in all um, seriousness they they did like the smaller setting there and and we so we were there for probably three or four years I think it was Brian and Eric and I um, and Justin I think we decided to check out Liberty Ridge and again that that feeling of wow this is something really special and and different and so we started going to Liberty Ridge and um, about that time, there was, you know, a, a lot of trials that hit our life. I actually, during that time, wanted to stay home um, oh. and hide. <laughs> and these boys said, we want to go. We want to go to church. And so we went. It was really hard. We really felt the Liberty Ridge family come around us and love on us and pray over us. And it really... Um, opened our eyes to not be um, unknown and 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 sitting you know where you we were maybe one of those that were we were just fine with sneaking in the back row and sneaking out you know without maybe talking to a lot of people and with Liberty Ridge and how that they came a, around us really taught us to be um, known and and loved and to reciprocate that to, to others. A number of years ago, Pastor Natasi um, introduced 100 verses. And, and at that time it was, um, we're gonna memorize 100 verses in 100 days. And so we took the challenge back then to do that. And, and I thought, this is impossible. There's just no way. And, and yet there is, when you, when you really put your mind to it. And um, one of those verses was Psalm 1 where it says, do not walk in the counsel of the wicked or, or stand in the seat of, in the seat of mockers um, or sit in the seat of mockers, um, but your delight is on the law of the Lord and on your law you meditate day and night and you'll be like a tree planted by streams of water whose, whose leaf does not wither and, and bear fruit in season. So we, we took that and go, okay, how do we do that every day? There's a couple of verses that I just wanted to, to show and one is, it's from Psalm 119 because this just really hit me, because of the things that have, we've gone through, it says, before I was afflicted, I went astray, but now I obey your word. And then David says, um, it was good for me to be afflicted so that I, I may learn your decrees. And, and what we found is that sometimes um, we, those trials, we need those trials to drive us into the word and to, and to get there. And, and to, I'm not yet where David is, where it says it was good for me to <laughs> have all these things happen, you know, but in a way it is because, you know, it, it, it takes us into the Word. And that's how we know God more, is, is being in the Word. I remember listening to Sandy Petrick give a kid's story at VBS and thinking, because she held up her Bible and told everybody how much she loved her Bible, and I thought, do I love my Bible like that? You know, I, it's another person I learned from that you can't love your Bible unless you know what's in it and you, you can't know what God wants from you unless you're reading it. And when the Liberty Ridge chapter closed, um, we were then, you know, um, told about this, this merger that's, that's in the works. Um, not, not 
official, but in the works. And it, we just we just got really excited about it and thought, you know, this if this is going to be like a Liberty Ridge or or you know uh, an outreach type of church, um, that we want to be part of that. And so I think we were when they asked early on, we said, yeah, we're in. We'll, we'll, even though it's longer drive and it's you know it's it's um, a different neighborhood, but yeah, we just decided it was where God wanted us to be. I think about sheep when I think about um, this fallow because we've had sheep at our house and we've we've seen them follow the wrong thing and we've seen them follow <laughs> the right way. And um, I think if we're all um, studying God's word together at, as this Woodbury Lutheran Church and all the campuses. Um, we're going to listen to God's voice and not something else and be able to follow Him. It's an exciting journey that we're on. And so, you know, the, the whole follow thing is, okay, how can, how can I get more in tune with listening to your voice, but also then where are you going to take us? Where are you going to take us as a church? Where are you going to take us as individuals and a family? Um, on, 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 like I talked about, you know, getting out of your comfort zone. Where, where, where is that going to go? And we don't know, right? I mean, we, 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 have, we have plans, but they don't always are God's plans necessarily. So that, that's what's exciting about this is, okay, there's either new mergers or, or, or new ministries that, that, that we can get into um, and, and help, help us grow and help us serve. He does take you out of your comfort zone. And are you ready for that? And I don't think we ever are, um, but we're called to be. And, and to be called to be salt and light. And, <clears throat> and, and that's, that's a challenge, um, but it's a good challenge. Jesus, lead me to listen to your voice and follow you. Amen.